Welcome to the second Sting Demo Day of the year and the first ever online edition of Sting Demo Day. My name is Henna Keranen. I'm happy to co-host you this event and I hope that you have everything in front of you. Your battery is charged, your coffee is there and your sound is on because today we are going to have a high tempo and you are going to get listen to 12 exciting startup pitches. I would also like to welcome you. My name is Frederick Rosengreen, and I'm so excited to be here with you to listen in to this live demo day stream. As Hannah said, we're going to have a swift tempo with the 12 company. We will select the best pitch. After that, we will move over to a Q&A session with all the teams. You can jump in and out between their own individual uh, Zoom links. Uh, you can also book one-on-one -on -one meetings with the teams using the Calendly links that will be provided to you. It is needless to say that it has been a very special spring. It has been that for us, for you, to all these thing companies. But I have to say that we have been very impressed by following how quickly the whole Swedish startup ecosystem and the companies adapted this new normal found new revenue streams and new innovative solutions. Thank you all for this extremely important effort during this spring. Speaking about spring, in April, we also published our annual report and got the key figures from 2019. And it looks quite nice. Sting has now backed 305 companies, from which 69% are still active, Together, these companies employ more than 2,755 people and their total revenue increased to 283 million euros. Together, these companies' uh, com um, value, uh, sorry, their um, value increased to 2 billion euros, which is quite amazing. Of course, we couldn't have done this alone. We are extremely lucky to have a very, very dear partner network. Thank you all for being there, for supporting us during this spring and during these years, and supporting all the Sting companies. And speaking about the Sting companies, so I think it's now to speed up the tempo and start the show. So ladies and gentlemen, Please fasten your seat belts. It's time for the first picture, a company making music interactive. Welcome, Gestrument. Thank you, Hannah. Um, I am Per, one of the co-founders at Gestrument. I'm here to tell you about the next big thing in music tech. So lately, we've seen a big paradigm shift where music consumption has gone from owning a record collection to streaming. But that is now a commodity, so what is next? Well, we see that a lot of trends are pointing towards music becoming interactive, and that is exactly where we excel. So first, let's look at some previous uh, examples of interactive music. These are all great success stories, but they have one thing in common, and that is the music is fixed and you're supposed to follow. But hey, that is not what's trending now in the world. People want to be creative and express themselves. Uh, one good example is Instagram, of course, for photo, uh, TikTok for video, um, Roblox for games. Um, but where is that example for music? It seems that would be the last frontier. So I'm now going to show you a short clip of our technology integrated to Spotify to let anyone jam directly on their favorite music. In this case, adding a cool piano riff on a Rihanna song. So that's pretty cool, but uh, where do we take it from here? Well. We have seen that our technology is the missing link between the music industry and the game industry to finally allow commercial music to be used in interactive applications. More specifically, we've just delivered our first game uh, to a paying customer based on the Unity platform. And we are now um, in a bigger project with uh, Epic Games um, that will really tie these industries one step closer to each other. 
Um, so that's why we're here today. We're looking for a seed round now to take this from a couple of really high profile projects and initial revenue to scale. And in order to do that, we have a team uh, starting with Jesper, the founder and uh, innovator. He's a world-known composer in the classical world. Um, myself, I'm a proven tech entrepreneur, had a great exit in my previous company. We have Jöran, who is a veteran from the music industry and uh, working globally with music for the last uh, 20 years. And Matt from Silicon Valley, who's worked specifically with creative tools at both Apple, Adobe and others. So now is a very good time to join us. Uh, momentum is picking up fast and uh, we are ready for it. Thank you, Pat. What a great start. It's really actually it's quite amazing to get the feeling that you are your own life's composer. But now let's continue the show. By using the next company's app, you can order food from all the popular restaurants from the same app. Welcome, Easy. When I lived in China, I noticed in the most crowded cities like Beijing and Shanghai, restaurants have no queues, no paper menu, and no staff taking orders. 80% of the restaurant orders happen on mobile not only for the pickups, but also for the dining part. This is a four times bigger market compared to the food delivery. There is one app to evaluate it as 5 billion US dollar by only running in China. I found it crazy that there is nothing similar big in Europe. That's why I started Easy. Easy is one mobile app that lets you make order and payment in all your favorite restaurants, not only for the pickup, but also the dining service. No more waiting for staff to help you order and pay. Even better, you get all the special offer and membership in one place. Easy app was launched by end of last year. In only five months time, we're running 40 restaurants, have over 20,000 downloads, 1.5 million transactions, and most of them happen on the dining part. We have 10 times a higher retention rate compared to the delivery apps. Many customers use Easy almost every day. We're also the official partner of several big malls in Stockholm. And this is all happened without any marketing. Restaurants love Easy because with all the tools we offer, they can improve efficiency, increase sales, have better service and environment, and lower the cost. We have a highly experienced team with nine people all based in Stockholm. We have the competence of running startup, product development, sales, marketing, finance, BI, and data science. From companies such as EQT, Plana, Spotify, and Kindred. Me, myself, I have been leading projects with over 300 resources delivered and launched the product in 12 countries in Europe, used by more than 10 million people. Easy has a B2B um, business model. Most of the revenue is generated based on value-added service on a monthly subscription model. We have a service for recommendation uh, system, loyalty program, uh, advertisement, data analysis, and hardware renting. We also charge a very small amount of commission fee from the restaurant. By early next year, Easy will be the market leader in Sweden and kick off the international market by the large city like Berlin, Berlin and London. In five years time, Easy will be the leading restaurant ordering platform globally. We welcome you to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Ying. I'm really looking forward to follow this next leading food tech company from Sweden. Okay, the next company allows you to make value-based and sustainable investments. Welcome, Datia. Hello, everyone. My name is Juan, and I'm one of the founders of Datia. 
Before starting that, I spent many years at Spotify as a manager of development teams in Stockholm and New York. And my co-founder, Mane, is also an engineer, but he spent the last part of his career uh, on the other side of this video call working for EQT Ventures as a venture capitalist. We run a small and very lean team, fully remote, that includes Santi and Paula as well. Our mission is to help our customers make more sustainable investment decisions through transparent information that is easy to understand and act on. And we think that now is the perfect time to be working on this problem. We know that the, the climate clock is ticking, and from today up until 2035, we're going to have to invest trillions of US dollars into clean energy to avoid a climate catastrophe. We also know that regulators at the European Union level are forcing this transition and working with fund managers to help them uh, towards uh, greener capital. We also know that the next generation of investors and, and consumers are aware of this problem and not only want to invest and get returns for their money, but also know that their money is doing good for the world. The first step that we took towards uh, our mission is to launch our mobile app, Datia, which a very simple proposition. We give you nine causes that you can select to support. And right after you select them, every week we select stocks and funds that are leaders in those different causes. And you can go deep into them and try to understand if you would like them as an investment in your portfolio. If you already have a portfolio with Avanza or Nurnet, you can connect it through Banky there. And we will do on the fly analysis of your portfolio and score all your assets in your portfolio overall. By launching our product, we learned that people are very interested in what their savings are doing for the world. And not only that, but also we learned that fund managers in, in professional investors want to transition from our world of spreadsheets and CSV files into our integrated solution. So moving forward, we are working very closely with fund managers and professional investors targeting them and working a, in a product with them with a few pilot customers at the moment. And the idea here is to accelerate our progress through revenue and also to our mission, because obviously, uh, as being professional investors, they have a much higher uh, AUM to work with. So at the moment, we are running a pilot with a few customers on, on, the, on that side, and we're going to be launching that product uh, later this fall. We are not raising any money right now, but uh, if you are passionate about our mission of transition in capital towards greener alternatives, of course, we would love to talk to you later on. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Juan. What a start we have had here. First a music tech company, then a food tech company, and now this sustainable fintech company. But now let's continue. The fourth company pitching here makes peer-to-peer -peer car sharing extremely easy. Welcome, Heap. Wherever you are in the world, cars are standing still. This is ineffective, but it's also a great business opportunity. My name is Carl, and I'm the founder of Heap. Heap is an app-based sharing platform that is enabling for car owners to make money from the vehicles by sharing it with other people. How do we make it easy, and how do we make it safe? First off, we install a hardware into the car to fully automate the sharing process, but also to avoid thefts. Secondly, to rent, it's super easy. You register with bank ID, you book a car in a network, and then you just heap off. And finally, all administration related to rental contracts, transactions, and insurance is taken care of by Heap. So this sounds good in theory, but how does it work in real life? And the answer is, it works great. During our pilot in Gothenburg, we've had over 600 rents, a turnover over 300,000 sec. We've had a retention rate of 61% and a net promoter score of 76. First, we thought it was going to be hard getting car owners to sign up, but over 500 of them have shown their interest. One of them being Kim. His car has become cost neutral ever since last July, and in January alone, he made 8,700 sec on his car. So just like people are renting out their apartments through Airbnb, they will now rent out their cars through Heap. So what's the next step? We've secured parts of the financing for the coming 12 months, but we're also looking for an additional 4 to 5 million sec investment. We'll invest this in scaling, but also reaching our preliminary estimate of an LTV CAC ratio of at least 5 to 6. 
And what's the team behind all this? To mention a few, we have Isabel, a digital marketing specialist, formerly from a startup named Surfiers. You have Marcus, an app hacker, and he has founded several companies before, one of them being Seed, based in New York. We have Peter, a back-end genius who, back in the days, founded one of the largest file-sharing sites. And you have myself. I've been working with international B2B growth, but also with strategic projects at Volvo. We also have some additional hipsters joining the company. Kaspar and Peter, they co-founded Creative Labs at Google. And now I'm finally happy to announce that that Sunfleet CEO is joining the company. And just like he made Sunfleet a 210 million site company, Pietro Algurian will now be a part of working operationally in making Heap a multi billion dollar company. So, what does the future look like? Well, the automotive industry will fun fundamentally change. Everyone will share, and Heap will be the global market leader. So, jo join our QA, book a meeting in the coming weeks. And we can discuss how you can be a part of investing in something that's both sustainable, but also has unlimited potential. Thank you. Wow, I can't to start, start doing my heaping myself. It's so exciting. So the next company pitching here collects all the quality articles on their same platform from top Swedish writers. Welcome, Gazin. Hello, my name is Anna and I'm the founder of Gazine. Gazine brings you stories from journalists all over the world in your own language. I'm a journalist myself and uh, I've been working in the media industry for 20 years. So Gazine is a global platform where readers can find all the content they want in one place through one subscription. Journalists, on the other hand, can upload their articles themselves without any publisher in between and monetize it over time. And best of all, they can have it translated and spread to the rest of the world. Our goal is to disrupt the global market for magazines. And this market is huge. It's valued 77 billion US dollars, and that's actually four times more than the global market for music. And there are lots of players on this market, and we differentiate by, by bringing one platform for all magazine lovers through one subscription. We focus on only high-quality content that we translate with the help of the journalists on the platform. We also give the journalists the possibility to monetize their content without any publisher in between and to do that on many markets. So I've grabbed the best bunch of people to do this with me. We have competence within journalism, tech, platform building, business development and uh, business. And not only that, we have an amazing community of 187 journalists that have registered on the site and publish articles regularly. So since March, we have already 400 articles. Since March last year, that was 400 articles on the site and around 30,000 visitors per month. And we have partnerships with some other media platforms that bring traffic to our site. Oops. So we have two revenue streams, the end user who pays a subscription fee and we also give the opportunity for publishers to license our material and they pay a price depending on how much material they want and how many they reach. So now it's time for us to accelerate faster. The goal is to add a paywall later this year and to do that we need to hire developers and market the platform. We also want to add a translation tool so that we can enter a new market early next year. So imagine when a Swedish writer can have their articles translated and spread to the, to the rest of the world. Imagine when a Swedish writer can monetize it over time on all these markets. Imagine when Gazin is the go-to platform for magazine lovers all around the world. Let's disrupt this market together. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Actually, yesterday I read a very interesting article focusing on our brains and training and how they really like each other. It was super interesting. But now, the sixth company pitching here 
provides you relevant financial information, regardless if you are a beginner or a top investor. Welcome, Noteful AI. Now we're going to not to have a Noteful AI, we're going to have voice machine providing B2B solution for voiceovers. The voiceover industry is about to go through the same transformation as the music industry. Professional recording equipment has become cheaper and made traditional studios obsolete. And the industry moves towards shorter and more frequent productions with less budget. The voiceover industry is ready for transformation. Voice machine is very simple. You enter the app, you search for a voice. In my case, I will search for uh, Michaela. She has a Swinglish accent and she will actually now uh, read the rest of this script. I place the order and it usually takes a couple of hours to make an order to save some time. I made some preparations. Let's play and see how it sounds. The total market for voiceover is worth 5 billion US dollars and it's growing fast. Our sweet spot is advertising, business and education, which constitute about 2 billion US dollars. Our first target group is production companies that currently work with traditional offline agencies. In Sweden alone, this sub-segment is worth around 300 million Swedish kroner. Voice Machine offers the same carefully selected professional voice talents as the traditional agencies. By streamlining the process and cutting costs, we can offer the same result at about half the price. We are a complete team led by Pio, who has more than 20 years of experience as a voiceover entrepreneur, with one exit to online voices. Ulle is a tech entrepreneur with experience in both development and sales. He has also done one successful exit with the SaaS company SightScanner. We're also very happy to have partnered with two of the sharpest full-stack developers in Stockholm, David and Daniel, who left Klarna to join this project. Thank you, Michaela. Let's continue. We started the company and began to build the platform one year ago. During the fall, we began beta testing and started recruiting voiceover actors. In February this year, we had recruited and signed 100 voice actors, and in March, Voice Machine launched. The platform attracts new customers every week, and we currently handle approximately 10 orders per month. And we're doubling every second month, despite the crisis. One of our customers has already decided to move all voice production to our platform. For non-commercial projects, we typically charge 395 euros, where we keep 25% and the rest goes to the supplier, the voice actor. Our expansion plan is built on a combination of traditional sales and clever digital marketing, together with the strategic partnerships. We will reach a turnover of 1 million sec this year, and we're now looking for capital to take more market shares. Next year, we will go international and triple our turnover year by year. In five years, we'll be the biggest voiceover player in the world with a turnover of approximately 100 million euros. Our platform is ready to scale. The timing is perfect. Voice Machine will be the standard license model for voiceover. Join our journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Olle, from Voice Machine. They say that uh, the, the sound is 70% of the experience of a film. So it's a super interesting platform that you have created. Next company up is Laundrop. And I would like to present Gia from Laundrop. And Laundrop is the pickup and delivery service straight out of your door. Welcome, Gia. Hi, my name is Gia, and I'm founder of Laundrop. Today, you as a consumer can buy all types of household services online, within uh, cleaning services and food delivery. But there's one service missing, laundry. To do laundry is a time-consuming, boring, everyday chore. An average household spends approximately one to six hours a week doing laundry. With Laundrop, 
you can minimize that time and do your laundry in only three minutes. Laundrop is a digital laundry service with delivery to your doorstep. Our vision is to disrupt the outdated laundry industry and commercialize laundry service. So let me tell you how it works. We don't own our own suppliers, and that makes us scalable. Instead, we work with already existing suppliers within logistics and laundry on the market. First, the customer places an order online and pays. We then make sure that the logistic partner picks up the laundry, brings to the laundry partner, and then delivers back in time. What we do is to create a modern laundry experience from door to door. So what makes us better than the competition? We are fast with a standard 24-hour delivery. We're easy to use, everything from our pricing model to our user experience. And on top of that, we are sustainable throughout the whole process. We do all types of laundry, but household laundry is our core product and stands for more than 50% of our selling. So how do we make money? An average order is for 657 kroner, and thereof we have 26% margins on each order. Our target group is mainly families that already buy similar existing services, but we even have 20% B2B customers within larger office spaces and smaller restaurants. We launched our product in January last year and have since then grown organically with an approximate 18% growth per month. So far, our total revenue is at 1.6 million Swedish kroner, and by the end of 2020, we will estimate that we reach 2.8 million Swedish kroner. So going forward, our main focus is expansion. Today, we are based in Stockholm, and we recently launched in Uppsala. In 2021, we will open up in Malmö and Gothenburg, followed by Scandinavian cities in 2022. We are a fantastic team with a wide range of experience. That, together with our drive and entrepreneurship, is our strength and makes us investable. And talking about investment, we are raising 1.5 to 2 million Swedish kroner for growing our team and to spend on marketing. Do you also see the potential in disrupting an outdated laundry market? Then join us while we commercialize laundry service in Scandinavia. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gia from Laundrop. A fantastic service for homes and businesses. Most of us are here in Stockholm doing this live session, but we have a team down in Turkey. So I would like to welcome Sahid, broadcasting from Turkey. Ah, and we will listen to Sahid in a moment. But before that, we will go to All Aboard. So I would like to welcome Anton from All Aboard, a super easy booking service where you book uh, longer train trips out of Europe. Thanks, Frederick. So <clears throat> a few years ago, I was out traveling for three months and I went all over Europe and I did it by train. Booking and planning those trips, it looked like this. A complete mess. And as a problem solver by heart, I had to fix this. I'm Anton and I'm one of the co-founders of All Aboard. All Aboard is a platform for planning and booking long distance train trips. We do everything in a single place. So we sell tickets from all of the train operators. We give you recommendations on the best routes, uh, nice places to visit, perhaps a good restaurant close to a train station or a different scenery on the way back home. Last but not least, when you're out traveling, we're keeping you updated. We are not the only ones excited about this. The future of traveling is going by train. 57 billion are spent by Europeans traveling within Europe. And now, because of climate change, three out of four are committed to flying less. At the same time, we see a train industry that's completely booming with big investments and new customers. There are a few digital players selling tickets online, but our unique niche is in international travel, where we guide our users from idea to destination. Um, this is the best part. <laughs> Since uh, we started working on this, we are now a team of a lot of cool people that have been working together for a long time. Uh, Therese, she has a vast experience in, in uh, 
balancing user needs and business needs. Carl has been uh, starting Doberman in New York as a key player. And Kalle, he, was, he is an extraordinary hacker who has been um, um, also carries our record in train trips. Patrick has been leading design teams for many years, and I created an official website for the sustainability goals, globalgoals.org. By now, we know the rail industry with both an outside and an inside perspective. Our business model, it's simple. We get a cut on interrail passes, we get uh, commissions on every ticket sell, and we charge our customers a service fee. On top of this, we find potential extensions such as in, uh, insurances and referrals. Since we started working on this 10 months ago full-time, we have achieved a lot. With core partnerships in place finally, and now all of the APMIs implemented, 500 signups on a landing page, we are now a thousand people have tried our public beta. We uh, are also super excited to have closed around the funding and have some of the best angel investors on board. Um, we are about to launch our product, and in the early next year, we'll have a trusted service to push out in the rest of Europe. The future of traveling is going by train, so get aboard as we enter the next generation of traveling. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anton, and all aboard. Now it's time to move the stream from a house here in Stockholm down to Turkey and the company Wagen. Let me introduce you, Sahid from Wagen, your professional high-performance computer up in the cloud. Hi, everyone. I am Zahid, co-founder of Wagen. Let me tell you about the future of the work. Alice is a designer. She wasn't able to use her design software in her laptop. That's why she spent thousands of dollars for a brand new powerful computer. But she realized even that is not powerful enough for all the tests she has. So we created a personal supercomputer in the cloud for creatives as a service, which they can use from any device they have, like MacBook Air, Chromebook, or tablet to run all those challenging applications. Cloud computers are around for the last five years for gamers and hackers, but they couldn't solve the problems of creatives. Alice works with tape files all the time. She uses three different applications together, each depending on a different performance. She collaborates with her team, uses some specific tools, so just a cloud computer isn't the solution that she has been looking for. That's why we built Wagon specifically for the creators. It provides a seamless experience to Alice. She can change its performance with a single click for each application she uses. She can synchronize her files, collaborate with her team, and Wagon offers many other possibilities to her. There are more than 100 million creators like Alice, designers, video editors, architects, and others, summing up the $28 billion market. Most of them are either working in small agencies or as freelancers, and we have been engaging with them since day one. Thanks to all their feedback and help, we launched our beta on product account at the end of March with a huge traction on the day. Since then, almost 10,000 people sign up to try Wagon, and we already have our paying users. In the upcoming weeks, we will be removing our beta tag with some new features and start scaling globally. A great team made that happen. As founders, we all founded startups before, both failed and succeeded, and we have been working together for the last three years. We have a brilliant team spread in four countries in Europe at the moment right now, and together, we will make Wagon a must-have tool for millions of creators out there, especially with Disney working on it. Whenever they need extra power, they will supercharge their devices with Wagon seamlessly and get rid of all hardware limitations. And it already started. Some popular websites, some influencers, and even some of our first users started to spread the word for Wagon. So things are getting passed. That's why we need to speed up too. We are looking for a seed round for this. We need to create awareness for this, for this new idea for creatives. Plus, we will be implementing some new features that they have been asking for. So if you're interested and have questions, come to our q and sessions, and hopefully we will make Wagon an extraordinary startup altogether. Thanks. Thank you so much, Sahid. And what a powerful service you have created. Let's take this, uh, the, the, the streaming back from Turkey and go back to this session here at A-House. Next company up is Skinfo and Lena. 
Skinfo is science-generated information uh, on ingredients and cosmetics. Welcome, Lena. Hi, my name is Lena Skiba, and I'm the CEO at Skinfo. These are, these are all ingredient labels that must be found on every product sold in the European Union. Now, you're in good company if you understand nothing, because every day, 500 million people use products for their skin without really understanding how they might affect their body. Like, for example, Simona, who is about to buy her favorite product at her e-commerce site. But she knows that there could be substances that she would want to avoid if only she could understand the ingredient label. Now, luckily, Skinfo's widget is already integrated into the e-commerce site because they want to become more transparent as a company. So now, all the ingredients are automatically decoded for her based on scientific and reliable data. And, of course, now she cannot instantly understand every ingredient and their potential health hazards. In case they didn't partner with us already, there is also our app to support the need. So, how did we do this? We have collected information on more than 30,000 ingredients based on data from regulations, authorities and scientific research. And because every country in the European Union follow the same ingredient labeling and guidelines, we're scalable in 28 countries already as it is today. So let me show you the team behind this. My name is Lena and I'm the CEO and my strength is business development with a data-driven focus. And Victor in the middle is my CTO and co-founder. He has coded everything in the company. And to the right you see Astrid, who is a scientist and ensures that the data we have is true and correct. So. We have achieved a lot already with our little team. The app has already 2,000 downloads, more than 2,000 downloads. But the most important thing is that we already signed a B2B partnership with Skin City, the skincare e-commerce which is leading in the, Nordic, uh, in the Nordics. Um, and so we already implemented it and we're just waiting to publish. Obviously, we're already in contact with the top five industry actors already. So the interest has been big and so is the market. This cosmetics and skincare industry is selling as much as sports and leisure and growing annually. So there is money to be made and this is how. Uh, we take a monthly fee from the companies who pay us for our branded widget, which is shown on every product page. page. So speaking of money, we are seeking funding in the end of this year because that's when we are preparing for the European market. And right now we're bootstrapping the Swedish market. So that's why we want to bring transparency in every product accessible to all European consumers. See you at Q&A. Thank you so much, Lena and Skinfo. Next company is a super interesting uh, health tech company. So let me introduce to you Frederick from uh, Health Integrator. Hey, this, this is Mats, his 60 years old bus driver in Solna. With only some years left until retirement, his dream is to live an active life, traveling with his wife and renovating his house. He's worried he will end up like some of his colleagues suffering from bad health. Some are so obese that the safety belt in the buses are not long enough. He knows why he has to do something, but don't know what he needs, where to go, who to meet and how to get started. He needs support. 11% of Swedish GDP is spent on healthcare. 80% of that cost can actually be prevented. Health Integrate is a platform that can help Mats. Mats starts with a health analysis combined with a blood test. This provides him with insights of his individual needs and is the first step of a behavioral change. Next, he meets a health pedago pedagogue who not will tell him what to do, but rather empower and support him to make informed decisions by himself, resulting in a health plan. 
Now it's time to match the term a plan into action by shopping preventive health services within areas such, such as physical activity, nutrition, stress and smoking. All in our one-stop shop marketplace. And what is great is that Mats can get a pre-loaded wallet of money from healthcare, his employer or pay by credit card at checkout. Last but not least, Mats will get continuous support to reach his goals. We have an amazing team consisting of a wide range of competencies with experience from industries like finance, IT, pharma and design. The driving force is to transform the current system and help users like Mats by offering a platform, making it easy to, to consume preventive health services. With support from EIT Health, we have conducted a pilot study with 250 users from different companies. The pilot showed great results and the users has continued to use the platform with a retention rate of 93%. We have a team of well-known investors on board and are now opening up for the next round. We are just about to launch the platform financed by the first health impact bond at 30 million Swedish kroner. That will be signed and announced next week. And this is only one pilot with one group of users, pre-diabetics, within one road region. We are the first, so we know this is going to be big, but not just how big. To join our journey and next round, book a meeting today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Frederick, from Health Integrator. That was the 11th company pitching today, and we have one more to go. And as Hannah said, this spring has been very intense for us in a really fun way. So we had all together put up 50 workshops, 600 hours of coaching, 17 roll calls, over 100 one-on-one -on -one meetups with investors and 22 investors of the week. We have had workshops within financing team, metrics, IPR, SEO, product and pricing and so forth. And now it's time for the last company. So let me introduce to you Noteful AI and Maysum, relevant financial information for beginners to professionals. Thank you. Good afternoon. There are 12% of the Swedish equity market is currently owned by a million non professional investors. Of those, around 50,000 to 70,000 trade every day. The same number globally is 105 million non-professional investors worldwide. 105 million professional, professional investors, they have one problem. And that problem is information overload. What Noteful has done, however, with this information and digital noise is that we've been able to partner with credible content providers from which we get financial text and we feed it into the Noteful platform. From the other side, not the non-professional investors get um, relevant information. As they spend time in the Noteful app, the relevance improves much, much more. We've packaged this into a subscription model, and uh, this is a demo of how it works. So this is my Noteful. I use Bank ID to import all of the stocks I follow or I own, and I start to read about a company such as Lululemon. So this card contains the most important pieces of information, news, uh, transcripts, equity research, and blog content for in the last 24 hours about Lululemon. The sentences presented on the card are basically the most relevant pieces of text that our Google BERT machine learning text extraction models have been able to extract and show the reader. If we move on to the next company, such as here, um, there's a, the, the heading is about Spotify, but I don't really own Spotify. I own Tesla. So what Noteful really does is that it extracts the most important information about the companies, even though if the heading is about a different company. So we do uncover hidden gems in text about companies that I follow, even though with a misleading um, uh, headline. So in this case, if you click on that sentence, you jump to the right location in the text, even though if the heading is about Spotify, I follow Tesla, and even though Spotify is mentioned in the text. So why is Noteful useful? Uh, 
based on the tests we've ran with our users, uh, they find that the they, they, they save a lot of time in Noteful. They stop searching, but they instead start finding. A second thing we do is that we democratize access. This means that we have APIs from earlier B2B customer providers of content that we want the B2C customers to have access to. So our users feel that they're, they know better and they're more comfortable and like more in control before investing. But there is one more thing that Noteful does. We're using the B2C model to leverage user data, meaning that we can, for instance, know who reads about Tesla and lithium versus lith Tesla and China growth, or like Tesla and Elon Musk. So we take that data and we want to present that into a B2B to C model to you know, online brokers, financial institutions, and banks who actually produce uh, financial products for non-professional investors. So going from a B2C model, our goal is to approach the B2B customers. Our 2020 goals are pretty straightforward. We are aspiring to have 1,000 to 5,000 daily active users on Noteful, enabling that with bank ID authentication and integration. Uh, typically, we've seen that the user uh, spends around f two to three minutes in Noteful app daily, and they consume around 50 to 100 pieces of news uh, when they're in the app. We gather a lot of impressions by the way people interact in, in the app and how they click on which sentence. And we use this only to perfect our AI models. This has to be done before we start to talk to the B2B customers, such as Avanzas of the world and NudeNets of the world and so on. This is the team. My name is Maysam, the CEO and founder of Noteful. We are very tech heavy and we've been working for the last eight to 12 months together in order to build what's available on Noteful.ai. Our board are available and uh, they, are, they are based in Tokyo, it's the New York and Stockholm, covering everything from strategy, product, and data science. We're asking for three to five million kroners for the 12 month run, predominantly to be able to integrate the bank ID integration for now, over June and July. Uh, we are recruiting two more individuals into the team that's been paused because of the current situations, in addition to adding the two APIs that are making the B2B data available for B2C customers. We want to do all of this and in, this, in the fall, moving on with uh, the, um, the campaigns and the partnerships we have with the likes of Unga Aksispare, Aksispare's Frening, and a couple of other content providers. I'm more than happy to present and discuss with you during the Q&A session with any product around the, any questions around the product and, uh, and, and the strategy we have going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maysam. That was the last. Uh, that was the last pitch of today. Before we go in to uh, to the voting part, uh, actually on Thursday we there is another event uh, that will occur. Yes. So on Thursday we have another very exciting event called Startup Climate Action. So we are going to launch this new initiative aiming to create more startups that are fighting climate challenge. So basically Thursday at 12.30, you can follow the stream, find out more information about this exciting project, and yeah, just uh, sign up that Startup Climate <laughs> Action, and we will see you there. Great, so now it's time for voting. So, I suppose that all of you have your smartphone close to you, so you can go to menti.com using the code 348516 and vote for the company that you thought did the best pitch here today. Exactly. So, who got your attention? Who should be the official queen or king pitcher of this thing demo day? So, menti.com. Shall we have a recap? Yeah, we had the company Gestrument. Easy, Dotia, Heap, Yasin, Noteful AI, Voice Machine, Laundrop, All Aboard, Wagon, Skinfo, and Health Integrator. I know. Will, uh, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it will take a minute or two to conduct all the, the, all the result. Of course, as you saw, all the pitching company had had super great support from our two pitch coaches, Jenny and Annette. A big thank you to you. Yes, incredible work once again, polishing the pitches of the Steam companies. Well done. Meanwhile, we can check the, our backstage. Backstage, do we have a result yet or? 
Yes, I think we have. No? Not yet. No, not, not yet. yet. We are still. You can go to Menti and select your favorite ones. This time we don't have an official diploma or hugs. No. Uh, but we will celebrate that later when, when it's uh, more proper. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So 34, 85, 16. And I think the backstage has the result. And yeah. the voting is closed. Yeah. So here comes the envelope with the winner. Which <laughs> is... Every time as exciting. And the winner is Skinfo! <laughs> so give a huge home applause to <laughs> Lena and Skinfo. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic job. Okay, so this is the part for uh, the first part of this uh, session. Now we all teams have opened up their own individual Q and A streams, uh, so you can easily jump in and out between the different uh, Zoom links. This will continue for at least an hour as long as there is interest uh, on board on the Q and A streams. And don't forget to book one-on-one -on -one meetings with the team using the calendar links as well. Exactly, you can go to sting.co/demoday find all the links needed and just start mingling because that is why we are here. We are here to find out more information about these 12 fast growing and exciting startups. It has been an honor to co-host you during this Sting Online Edition Demo Day. Now I welcome you, uh, wish you a very great summer. See you in January. <laughs>